Welcome everybody, my name is Lesson Gamer, and this is a bit of a different video than what I'm normally used to posting. Normally I post gaming videos, but today we're going to be doing a build and review, Lego set build and review video of the Lego set 10274 Lego Ecto-1 Ghostbusters. Um, car of course and it's got 2,352 pieces. I'm by the way not exactly one a Lego YouTuber if you were to call me one of them they wouldn't be very accurate so you can already probably guess that I'm not exactly the perfect uh, material for this video but um anyways sorry guys I'm putting up a bandana really quick just so I have something to hold my hair back while I'm building this set for the next couple hours so you guys are there going to be seeing this as a bit of a time lapse video and then I'll do the end of the I will review the physical set itself um, with my Canon camera when I am done, but the intro is being filmed on my Canon camera. I just have my other camera going just in case this thing dies. So this is the set here. We're going to open up the box here. Now this is a Christmas present, by the way, and I'm super psyched for this to open this up. So if we can... I don't actually guess have a knife on me, like I normally do, so... So opening up the box, and we are gifted with lots of pieces. Holy cow, all right, so let me just... I am using my old desk. I had to tape off the hole, but here we go. Whoa. Alright, so that is everything in the box in there. So, right here we've got bag number 3, bag number 12, bag number 11, bag number 6, bag number 10, bag number 11, bag number 10, uh, bag number 8 pieces. Uh, we've got bag number 5, bag number 3, bag number 5 again, bag number 11, bag number 8, and then bag number 12. And then in this box, which I think just got my scissors, didn't I? Oh, and then over here we have, um, now for the time lapse I will be filming this on my Canon, on my computer's webcam, which isn't the best thing on the planet, but uh, you know, it'll work for what I'm using it for. And then in here is bag number one, bag number two, an instruction booklet with some stickers. Uh, bag number six, bag number four, bag number one, bag number two, bag number four, and another bag number seven. Oh, put more in here. And then we've got bag number nine and bag number seven. So this is a lot of pieces, so I'm going to now stop the video on my camera, I'm going to stop the video on my computer, and then start another video on my computer just so when I edit it, it's not all messed up, and we're going to get into this time lapse. So three, two, one. here's my time lapse, let's get into it ladies and gentlemen, and this is probably the most anticipated set I've built all the years, I've built Lego set in a while, so please don't be hard in the comment section, we're probably having a long time to build this. Three, two, one. let's get into time lapse, here we go.
right, guys, so this, guys, is the final product of the LEGO Ghostbusters car. Now, I didn't quite exactly put every last detail into it, but there's a few pieces missing that I forgot to put on because, if you guys don't know, I haven't put together a LEGO set in about two years because I'm poor, and I also just don't, you know, I haven't, I haven't found a LEGO set that has screamed fucking buy me, you know? I haven't found a LEGO set that actually like, screams for me to want it really badly. I'm a big Ghostbusters fan, and I own the Ghostbusters headquarters, so when I saw this set, I was like, holy shit, mom, let's buy it, got it for Christmas, me and my mom, you probably already guys know this, but me and my mom actually went to the Lego store to buy this a couple days before Christmas, so I obviously knew that I got it for Christmas. It's, so this car for scale, this is a Playmobil figure, if you guys don't know what Playmobil is, it's kind of like a plastic toy figure, and I used to play with these like you would no idea when I was a kid. They probably, they do still make them, and so this is a basically a Playmobil scaled car, so if you were to stick your Playmobil figurine in here, um, it is, yeah, so it's basically guys Playmobil scale. It's a pretty cool build, um, the build itself took probably five, six hours, maybe, uh, maybe like, uh, I don't actually know. So the first recording I did before I took a break. Um, was about three hours, and then I probably put, it's probably about five hour build. It is a really fun build. Um, my one complaint about the whole entire set is the windshield. I got it in a packaging, it was scratched. So to the Lego company, if you're watching this video, uh, if you guys could please send me a new windshield, because the windshield, uh, it was cracked. Um, well, not cracked, it was just looked like someone stepped on it. And also, I can't figure out how to get the hood closed, but that's probably just my own stupid knowledge on Lego as I proceed to make the bumper fall off. Okay, cool, this is starting out to be a great video. All right, let me put this back real quick. So yeah, <clears throat> like I said, it was a fun build. Uh, I recommend it if you happen to either have parents that are willing to drop $200 on you for a, I don't know, a, well, okay, well, Christmas has already happened, and this video is probably going up the day after Christmas, so the likelihood of you badgering your parents for this set is very unlikely. Now, I know a lot of you guys that are also probably have already seen a lot of reviews on YouTube, so if you guys there have already seen YouTube video reviews, thank you, brother, so much, by the way, for picking my video to watch. Um, so it does, guys, have some movable features here. You can open up the, the door to the car, and it's got a little ramp on the bottom. Now, the new Ghostbusters movie does not look... In my opinion as cool. There's a whole bunch of rust stickers, but if you put the rust stickers on your car, you are not a real Ghostbusters fan unless you built this car and you're going to keep it on a shelf and not put the rust stickers on. I did not put the rust stickers on. So if you guys want some rust stickers for your Lego car, if you may not even own the set and maybe you want some rust stickers to keep, maybe they'll go up in value one day, uh, comment down below on this video. I really want some effing rust stickers and I will mail them to you free of charge. That's horseshit. Don't actually comment that because uh, if you do comment that, I might actually consider sending me you a pair, but uh, the likelihood is is very slim because I don't think, uh, I'm not going to be paying for um, out of country shipping because I know one of my fellow subscribers is from out of the country and I don't really have the money to ship something that far. But if you guys enjoyed this video, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I also guys for Christmas, I also ended up guys getting him Cherry MX Switches. The problem is I lost my pry tool to my keyboard, so I can't take the keys off right now. But thank you guys so much for watching this video review. If you guys did enjoy it, comment down below any other things you want me to review like this. Um, hopefully you guys did also enjoy the time lapse. Comment down below what the time lapse was. I'm really sorry that the time lapse may not have looked like the best quality on the planet, because this camera, for the one, the battery is toast, like we're about to die, and also it the recording crashed after 15 minutes and doing t anyways so i'm going to shut up now and try to end this video before this camera dies so thank you guys for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one and if you guys have any cool lego things you want me to do in the near future maybe do like a lego series then comment down below that catch you guys in the next one peace out girl scout it's your boy let's play some gamer fan merry christmas on behalf of uh, let's play some gamer fan media groups and i'll catch you guys in the next one for the end of the year year in review video where i reviewed the whole year as a youtube video and then if you guys are New to the channel, or if you're a recurring subscriber, I do a live stream every single New Year's Eve from like 12 o'clock till midnight. Last year I tr was said I was going to, but then no one in my house told me it was New Year's because apparently no one in my family hyped it up. So yeah, New Year's Eve day, the day before the 2020 ends and 2021 starts, I'll be live streaming for probably a good 5 to 12 hours, so feel free to stop on by on that stream. But thank you guys for watching. Like always, I enjoyed doing this video. This video is actually kind of fun. My back feels like shit, but other than that, thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. Peace out, Girl Scout. Have a good day.